Hello and good morning. This is your Sports Center Daily News. Today is all about 1950 sports. Jason, it looks like a great game this <laughs> You got that right, sir. <laughs> and a bad one. Oh, yeah. Well, that's uh, given. Uh, today's sports are soccer. Uh, we, what else we got? Oh, we got baseball. We got baseball. Yeah, and, and some uh, football. We got some football. We yep. got two football players today. Two football players. Yep. Amazing football yep. players. They're bound to be a Hall of Fame. Yep. Uh, so, I. Uh, have a nice show. Uh, this show is also brought to you by Arizona Iced Tea. Uh, it's a great taste and great flavor. Thank you and good night. And here's Pele starting with the ball in extra time. He's going downfield. Fast one defender. Here comes the next. Fast as him. Goal! <laughs> and now here's an interview with Pele. Uh, hi, this is Curtis Warham on the soccer field in Mexico where it's Pele versus all the international teams. Uh, let's try to get a word with Pele. Hey, Pele, come over here. Hey, little interview. Hey, nice, nice shot. Right, you okay? You okay? Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, tell me about it yourself. Well, I was, uh, Born in Brazil, about 1940, and dropped out of school. I played soccer. That's a, that's a risky decision. Yeah, uh, my family was really poor, so it wasn't that risky. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, were you good? I was like, what? that's the understatement of the century, my friend. All right. Uh, we have Red Sox vs. Yankees in major rivalry game with star center field of Joe DiMaggio with Guy on third, one out. And here's the pitch. And it's a pop-up to center field. Joe DiMaggio for the catch, two outs. Can he fire it home and get the third for the win? He's chasing him down. Joe DiMaggio about to make two plays in one. And he's out with the win. Joe DiMaggio. Now here's an interview with Joe DiMaggio. Hi, right, this is Jared Pujol, live reporting from the Yankees training camp. Here to interview the number three Yankee of all time, Joe DiMaggio. Come over here, Joe. Hey, Jared. Hey, Joe, how you doing today? Good, see, how are you? See you hard at work. Nice. Ready for the next season? Yeah, you take a seat. So, Joe, can you explain to me how you did the streak, the 56-game hitting streak that you had that's one of the greatest accomplishments in baseball history? Well, I just uh, practiced a lot. And uh, with the support of my teammates, my coaches, my family, I, uh, I got the drive to do something that no one else has. What a man. Great accomplishment. And can you explain to me, what was it like when you joined the Army? Uh, it was good. I wanted, to, uh, I wanted to be on the front lines to serve my country, but they wouldn't let me. So I played on the Santa Ana baseball team for the, uh, for the Army. What an American hero. True values. True values. Okay, can you explain to me what your early schooling life was like? Well, I, uh, I dropped out of college at six, or at high school at 16 and uh, then got drafted and played some minor league baseball at first, but uh, I never really did anything after high school. It's okay, you don't need school. Look at Joe DiMaggio. Turns out great. All right. What was your favorite moment as a Yankee? Um, probably when I hit my 56th hit, just because it was, it was historic and... No one's ever done it. It was something I was really proud of. True accomplishment. And did you ever win any awards or go to any All-Star games? Yes, I won nine World Series and uh, I won the MVP three times. And um,
Fantastic. Okay, thank you, Jeff. All right, we have the Bowie Bruins versus the Cleveland Browns. Otto Graham at quarterback. Overtime. Fourth down. What? Otto Graham loses a snap. He's, what's going to happen here? Otto Graham running deep. He has a guy downfield. Is he going to get it? And they win! Yeah. Otto Graham MVP! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Hello, Otto. Hey. Nice to meet you. Hey, nice to meet you. I uh, just want to do a quick interview. To, uh, just tell me a little, about, a little bit about yourself. Uh, well, I was born in Illinois in uh, 1921. I went to Northwestern College, uh, and uh, I played football there. Uh, it was pretty good. I uh, played quarterback, and I did a little... Uh, wide receiver, running back sort of thing. Uh, they didn't really have super definite positions in my day. Uh, but uh, the first uh, play I ever did in college, I returned a 90-yard punt for a touchdown. Yeah, thank you. Uh, it was pretty good. It's all right. Uh, but uh, I was drafted first round to the Cleveland Browns. Yeah, it was a uh, good, wow. good, uh, good early life. Impressive. Thank you. All right, uh, tell me about your professional career. Uh, well, I was, like I said, drafted first round for the Cleveland Browns. I uh, played nine years for them. Uh, every single year I took them to the championship. Wow. Yeah, I was all right. Uh, people call me the best uh, quarterback in my era. I, uh... Better, better than Unitas? Uh, I get the joke. I, uh, I'll, I'll wreck him for days. But, uh, I have 114 wins and 20 losses. I have the record for the most highest win percentage of any quarterback ever. Uh, no one will ever beat that. Even in like 2014, people will still be not even close to that record. I uh, also have the most, uh, what is it? It's like average yards after throw, after catch. Uh, they get nine yards after every catch pretty much. So that's a pretty high record. Uh, I was a three-time NFL champion. Uh, Maybe they'll come up with something better than that one day, like a Super Bowl or something. Uh, I was a Pro Bowl MVP in 1950, and uh, the Browns actually retired my number at the end of my career. Wow. Yeah. That's impressive. Yeah. All right, uh, tell me about your uh, coaching career. Well, I actually did coach for a little while. I coached uh, for the NCAA National Guard team. Uh, after that, I got coaching for... Uh, the Washington Redskins for a little. I uh, didn't like the pros too much, so I went back to coaching for the Coast Guard. All right, there you have it. Autograph, the man, the myth, the legend. Hey, Otto. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you, sir. All right, we have the Bowie Bruins versus the Cleveland Browns. Last chance for the uh, Cleveland Browns to get in the end zone. What? And he's off. Jim Brown taking people out. For the win! Down by six! And they got it! They got it! It's over! Jim Brown! Now here's an interview with Jim Brown. Oh, nice to meet you, Jim Brown. Hey, nice to meet you. I'm Jason Ruffing here to interview you. Oh, okay. I just got a couple questions to ask you. First question, uh, so where did you attend high school? I went to Manhasset High School in New York. And when did you start your football career? I started 1957, and not only was I that my first year, I also got Rookie of the Year. Oh, wow, nice. Yeah, nice. pretty impressive. Did you attend college? Yes, I went to Syracuse University. Later, I recruited Ernie Davis, another great running back for Syracuse. Oh, no way. Ernie Davis, he was my favorite. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, how was your college career? Uh, pretty good, pretty good. I did uh, pretty great in college. Had Paul Brown scouting me, and he drafted me first round. To where? The Cleveland Browns. The Cleveland Browns. Yeah. We just did another interview from uh, Otto Graham. He went to the Cleveland Browns, too. No way. Yeah. So, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah that's a uh, small world. Yeah. yeah. So uh, how was your pro life? Uh, I had seven seven seasons that I rushed over 1,000 yards, which is like a crazy awesome achievement. And that still stands today, as a matter of fact. And really? then also run, won one NFL championship. Only one? Yeah, just one. No Super Bowls back in your day? No, no, they didn't have them yet. Oh, okay, okay. I was better than a Super Bowl. <laughs> oh, I like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I like that. So, uh, what did you do after football? After football, I went on to become an actor. I acted in over 30 movies, and I was pretty successful. Oh, very talented men. Yes, nice. Yes. Thank you for the interview. Nice to meet you. Uh, thank you. Okay, thank you.
Uh, thank you for watching our show today. It's been a great week of sports. And uh, Jason, what else have we got for them? We got some not top plays of the week. Enjoy the not top plays. And here we are, it's nil nil. And there's Pele. And extra time, can he do it? Pass the defenders. <laughs> and after Jim Brown scores a touchdown, they'll let him kick the extra point. Man, this guy can do it all. Or not. <laughs> and the ball's on the ground. But the play is dead. Oh, the guy likes the ball. And he fumbles it off of Jim Brown's butt. That's terrible. It's a butt fumble. Oh no, he's gone. And he's gone.